Hi guys, welcome back. I am Stu and this is Mobius 101. So one of the most requested features I have is to do a Mobius course, the tutorial. So what I thought I'd do is a very, very simple tutorial video on the basics. So this is why I've called it Mobius 101. So essentially with a Mobius coaster, what you have is you have a station, then it leads off on the track. So follow the red one around and it comes to another station and then that station then leads off and then it comes back to the start so when you so if you were in the, say the yellow train that's running on fast forward you'd go off and you'd come back at the other station and then once you come off on that one you would eventually come back to the start now this one isn't working very well um, and that's because there's no block break on there so it's not even though it's set to synchronize it's not working so with this one then this works as intended because I've added the block break just in green there. Um, now, if you were building a regular Mobius coaster with a wooden coaster, you would have a chain lift and the chain lift would work as a block break. So you wouldn't need that one at the back, but you would if, if you wanted to run some more trains, for example. So essentially then, this is the basic Mobius coaster. If you look in the stats, ignore the ratings where you've got ride time and ride length. You've got one set of figures slash and another set of figures. So that tells you then you've got two stations because you've got two sets of numbers. So in order to get the trains to synchronize, you need to have the first tile of each station next to each other. The stations can be different lengths. That's fine. But the first tile needs to be touching. So with this one, then we've got the stations facing in the opposite direction but crucially the first tile is touching so that's why they're able to synchronize and as you can see from the stats again we've got two sets of times and two sets of lengths so we know it's a two station mobius coaster so this one then same principle except we've got three stations so the blue one's just gone off from the first station it's now in the middle station it's gone off again now it's on the last station the third one now it's gone off from there and it's going to come back and it's going to go to the start so with this one then because we've got a station in the middle so the right exit and entrance is easy for the outside ones but on the inside one then it's more tricky so that's why you have to extend the station down in order to get the entrance and exit so this is a three station Mobius. So now we can see we've got three sets of results. And then this one then, this is a four station Mobius. So if we look at the stats, you're gonna have four sets of times and four sets of lengths. Um, so similar to the last one we showed, so we've had to extend the inside stations down in order to have the entrance and exit. So now if we look at the blue one and follow it round, so it leaves off from the first one, comes back to the second one. Now you don't have to have it going from one to two and two to three and three to four and then from the fourth station back to the first station. You can have them in a different order. I've just done it this way for the sake of simplicity. And to be honest, this is usually the way I do it because it makes it easier when you're building a Mobius um, they can get very very complicated very very quickly especially if you're doing four tracks so now it's on the third station it's going to go around it's going to come back to the fourth one and then it's going to go back around to the first one now on these because this is all one ride you can only have one photo section per ride so i've got it there in green got it there in green i've got it this side in green as well now if this was built in a real park um, any guests that go on any station would be able to buy the photo ride even if their train didn't go through the photo section it's just one of the little quirks of roller coaster tycho just so make the most of it because it does work in your favor um, so as i said this is a very very simple one but whether you do a very very simple design like this or a complicated one like some of the ones i've done in other videos essentially you start off with the sit with the stations in the same place you it's just so with the blue train now it's going to go around from this one to the second station now how it gets there that's entirely up to you you can make it as complicated or as simple as you want you can add loops you can add all different kinds of elements you can do whatever you want and that's what makes the good ratings um, so for this video I've just done it very very simple and what I'll do is I'll show you how I usually start as well um, 
I usually start with the stations. So let's do a, a very, very simple um, two track Mobius. So we'll do it four tiles long. And then what I'll do is I'll just, I'll do this and then I'll bring it around and then I'll do the second station. And then what I'll do is I'll just delete this track back. And now we've got the entrance and exit and we've got the entrance and exit for that one and then what i'll do then is this is where i'll just sort of i'll just go from one to another and and just do it like that and then you've just got to get one track to come back to the opposite track and then do the same with the other running on test and then from there then that's when the stats come back in and that's where you that's where the it gets tricky then because that's where you've got to try and experiment by by making them synchronize well. So you want them to be able to come back into the station relatively um, at the same time. You may you might not be able to get it exact. Sometimes you get it exact in test and when the trains have got uh, guests in them, they come back with different figures, but it's all about practice and it's all about testing. But um, another thing I just wanted to show you as well is if we stop this, we put it into construction mode and what I'll do is I'll toggle the speed as well just so it wipes the stats so now what we'll do is we'll put it into test so as you can see you've got two trains there where's the other two so there's one on that track and one on the second track as well so what we need to do is we need to get all four trains into all four stations so we've already got it set to synchronize so what we just need to do we'll run it on fast forward we'll toggle that So now we've got three stations full. Just toggle it again. It can be quite tricky. Oh, we've done it very, very quickly. Um, sometimes it can take a while to do, especially if we've got more than four trains, because like on this one now, I've got one train for each station. You can have more than that if you want, but what I would suggest is to have it um, with a multiple of how many stations you've got. So if you've got four stations, have four, eight, 12 however many however many trains you want in a multiple of four if you've got three do three six or nine if you've got two then then do two four six whatever um but yeah so this is just a very very simple explanation video just to get you started um it's not as daunting as it might look um anyone really should be able to build to build one of these just to start them off and then once you're able to build one of them, you can build something a bit more complicated like these. And once you once you're able to do that, just it's all about getting it, getting the train from the front of the station of the first station to the back of the second station, and then from the front of the second station back to the first station. However you wish to do it, that is entirely up to you. You can make it as complicated or as simple as you like. So this was Mobius 101, a very brief introduction into mobius coasters if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe any questions or feedback drop them in the comment section and i'll see you next time bye